Hi everyone and welcome to my first video tutorial. In this tutorial I will be explaining how to create a video mask using the technique called keying in Premiere Pro. Because many people want custom shapes for their mask I will be showing you how to create a custom mask in Photoshop and then import it into Premiere Pro. First of all you will need to import the video that you would like to mask and for these purposes I will be importing the Windows 7 sample video. Drag it into your timeline on video 1. As you can see, it is just the normal video. Second of all, you need to go on into Photoshop, create a transparent layer, delete the background on that, create a custom shape of your choice. Now, this can be um, text or a shape anything really, it could even be anything created through the pen tool any shape you want, absolutely anything let's, let's use that for example, just going to increase the size there we go, let's save this as a PNG call it mask, save to the desktop just for quickness save that, go back to Premiere Pro go to file import Let's import the mask that we just saved, which is called mask, which is there. Drag that into the video too. Let's make sure it starts from the beginning and goes right to the end. I'm just going to call that mask layer, just so you know what it is. And there we go. If you look there, you see the big splodge just over the video. Let's just resize that down just so we've got it over a nice section of the video to where we want it. This can be rotated any way you want, even resized because we saved it as a Photoshop layer it should be quite quite nice in terms of vector purposes. Right, now to the front part. Let's uh, go to video effects, scroll down, find the folder called keying, expand that, find the track mat key which usually is at the bottom on there now drag that over onto the video that you want to mask and then it'll apply it on the effects controls up here, you've got three tabs usually uh, so make sure you're on the effect controls tab uh, in here you'll see track mat key what we've just applied expand that and you'll see where it says matte, it's currently set to, it's currently set to none you need to expand that and you will see mask layer which is the, the mask that we created in Photoshop click on that and then there you see it's created the mask um, and that's pretty much it uh, you can play it and it looks just like what you want it to be I mean you can anim animate this if you if you wish that's up to you I hope I've helped <laughs> 